Hi folks, this is Calc 3 Checkpoint Quiz 17. We're asked to write a triple iterated integral in spherical coordinates that would find the volume between a couple of surfaces. I want to be outside the cone, z equals 2 square root x squared plus y squared, but inside the sphere, x squared plus y squared plus z squared is 20. So we're in spherical coordinates, so when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Let's remind ourselves of the conversions here. X is rho, sine phi, cosine theta. Y is rho, sine phi, sine theta. Z is rho, cosine phi. So let's look at this equation z equals 2 square root x squared plus y squared. I make the substitutions. I get rho cosine phi equals the square root of rho squared sine squared phi cosine squared theta plus rho squared sine squared phi sine squared theta. Now, you notice I got a rho squared sine squared phi in common. I can factor that out, and Pythagorean magic happens. I get cosine squared plus sine squared is 1. So I get rho cosine phi is the square root of rho squared sine squared phi. Now remember, in the definition of spherical coordinates, rho is bigger than or equal to 0, and phi is always between 0 and pi. That means that the sine of phi is always bigger than or equal to zero. Which means I can go ahead and simplify this square root and not worry about needing absolute values. So I get rho, oop, I've, I've dropped a two, haven't I? There's a two that goes there, a two that goes there. I get rho cosine phi is two rho sine phi. There's uh, factors in common, so I'm going to take everything to one side. I have rho cosine phi minus 2 rho sine phi is 0. I factor out the rho. I get cosine phi minus 2 sine phi is 0. So I either get the trivial case rho equals 0, or I get cosine phi is 2 sine phi. Uh, there's a couple of different ways to proceed here. Neither sine nor cosine are squared, so I can't do a nice fast exchange like that. But I can combine sine and cosine to give me tangent or cotangent. It really doesn't matter which one because uh, it's going to end up being positive. So I'll divide both sides by sine of phi. And I get the cotangent of phi, <clears throat> excuse me, equals 2. Now, by dividing by sine of phi, I have to make sure I'm not excluding uh, values for phi. I, I could be excluding phi equals 0 and phi equals pi. But if the cotangent of phi is 2, phi can't be 0 or pi. Now, we don't know an angle off the top of our head whose cotangent is 2. But phi has to be an angle from 0 to pi with a cotangent of 2. So I can go ahead and just write phi then as the arc cotangent of 2. So the cone, z equals 2 square root x squared plus y squared, in spherical coordinates is equivalent to the bound phi equals arc cotangent of 2. And hopefully that makes sense. Cones here uh, with the vertex at the origin have a um, have an equation of phi equals some constant angle. Okay, x squared plus z squared is 20. Oops, x squared plus y squared. If 
you need to go through the substitutions. You get rho squared, sine squared phi, cosine squared theta, plus rho squared, sine squared phi, sine squared theta, plus rho squared, cosine squared phi, is 20. Factor out a rho squared sine squared phi here. You get Pythagorean magic. You get rho squared sine squared phi. We still have a rho squared cosine squared phi is 20. Pythagorean magic happens again. You get rho squared equals 20. And since rho is always defined to be bigger than or equal to 0, you get rho equals square root 20, which when simplified is 2 square root 5. Now hopefully um, you have a sphere centered at the origin, radius radical 20. Hopefully you would just know that rho equals 20. But in case you get nervous or something, you can always go back and, and go through the substitutions. Alright, so in spherical coordinates we have phi is the arc cotangent of 2. And we have rho equals 2 radical 5. Those are the equations in spherical coordinates. Alright, now. I want the solid inside, excuse me, outside the cone, but inside the sphere. So I have a sphere, like so. And then right there at the center, I've got this cone coming out. So I want the uh, volume outside the sphere, but inside the cone. So I, I want that, is what I want. So we have to think in spherical coordinates. Remember, the rho starts at the origin and goes out. So rho is going out. And it's always going from 0 out to the sphere. And the sphere is rho equals square root 5. What's going on with the phi? The phi is starting at this angle here. I'm going to just dot in the positive z-axis. The phi is starting here, which is our cotangent of 2, and finishing down here at pi. So the phi then sweeps from our cotangent of 2 down to pi. And of course, theta being theta, since this thing has symmetry about the z-axis here, the theta is just going to go from 0 to 2 pi. And so finally we get our volume. Theta goes from 0 to 2 pi. Phi goes from arc cotangent of 2 to pi. Rho goes from 0 to 2 square root 5. And we need the volume differential. It's rho squared sine phi d rho d phi d theta. So that'll do it for number 1.